Hey guys, welcome back. It's your girl Toya T and today I'm actually doing a, I'm do two videos, but today the first one is a lock video. Um, and uh, this is just continuation from my last video, which I think I was talking about misconceptions. Uh, oh no, I did two strand twists, but this one I'm going to be talking about um, dealing with thinning locks and combining them. So I finally had to bite the bullet and I think combine my um, some of my locks. This one right here, if you can see from the back, is uh, one of my, my back locks are pretty problematic, but this one I'm afraid is going to break and you can see that the, the rest of it is pretty thicker than the base. The base right here is like really, really thin. And I'm kind of afraid that it will eventually break off because it's holding together by this really tiny thin thing. So uh, I watched a video from Cheska Locks, well, Cheska Locks and uh, one of my favorite YouTubers, especially for free locks. And I um, figured out how to combine my locks and probably will work out well because then I would have more even locks because my back locks are the shortest that I have. So I'm gonna actually combine all my back locks. So the first thing you have to do is pretty much uh, double strand twist the two locks that you want to combine together so I've already got that going and this will probably really really I mean really help um, I already made sure with the length because my, my locks are all kinds of different lengths and, um, you know, for various reasons, a lot of them uh, have uh, thinned at the end and I've either, um, I've either just uh, cut off the ends if they like get really straggly or um, they just were uneven in the first place. So, okay, I have it in a two strand twist. I have a needle and thread and there's a knot at the end. Um, and you just start from the very top and make sure that it goes completely through. Um, and you really want it to be, see there it went through. You really want it to be, uh, twisted and not, and not side by side because then they will come apart. And I eventually want these locks to turn into this thicker lock, which I don't have too many thicker locks because my locks are pretty thin and I would love to have thicker locks. And that's why I think I, that's why I said in the last video that I usually do now, um, two strand twist because it makes my hair a lot thicker than it usually is. And I love that look of thicker locks that I do not, I cannot achieve with my locks, um, out by themselves. So, and my, you can see my roots are looking kind of bushy because I washed my hair yesterday and I didn't retwist it. And because my locks are thinning in certain places, I've uh, decided not to. Um, and because I'm kind of lazy and I don't always like to retwist my locks, it takes a long time. I have decided not to retwist them and I won't be retwisting my locks until right before Christmas. Or maybe before then because I'm going to a... I'm going to a formal event, a winter gala, uh, in the beginning of December. So I guess I will, um, get my hair done for that. But if it wasn't for that, I really wouldn't have gotten it done until Christmas because I'm trying to make sure that it doesn't get, um, overly, uh, thinned and, and, uh, so there you go. Overly thin and from too much retwisting. So... This worked out and I'm just going to make sure that it comes through to the very end. As you can see, and I'll loop it through this one so that it will cause a nice little lot, a little knot there. So hopefully, and I probably retwist re this one. I'll put some gel on this one and wet it a bit and retwist it so that it'll at least um, get into, well, start locking itself together so it doesn't come apart while it's sewn together. So 
There you go. Let me get my... And there you go. One now unified lock, which is now much longer than the other ones were. And as you can see, the back locks that I have already set up to be uh, combined are really, really short compared to the locks that are just one level above them. And that's pretty much what I took is, a, is one lock above them to do this. So. this so anyway if you have any questions let me know um i've also for the thinning that happens in the middle of the locks i've actually started knotting them so you can see right here um and you know just making a knot you know i'm pulling it through and uh i thought it was really interesting i've been doing that before but it's interesting that jessica said to kind of you know palm roll them so that the knot doesn't become too obvious and i started doing that and i was like oh that really helps um so you can't even really see the knot that's in this one um so that's really cool. So if you have any questions about locks or anything about uh, repairing locks, um, let me know and I'll guide you to uh, whatever sources I have or just uh, answer the questions as best as I can. And I will see you guys later. Bye.